Great Lakes International Hospital, which is our training hospital, our own hospital, is a specialized hospital, and the lake we're building there. That the whole country of Uganda uh, for kidney transplants, for brain surgeries, uh, surgeries, heart surgeries, cancer issues, people have to move out of this country. And we know the economy, we know the income of all the people in this country. So we want any Ugandan from the north, from the south, any East African to be able to come to the Great Lakes International Hospital, come to Finnish Medical University, and say, I've gone to a teaching hospital for this complicated surgery. Indeed. So where we are heading is project, both direct and the completion, students who have got the diploma, are going to handle areas where we have deficiencies. We have conducted research as an institution. We have a number of health uh, areas we have very limited supply of health workers. Anesthesia is one of them. Region, and you don't know any orthopedic surgeon who is there. A person has to move from one region to another. People have to wait. Oncology, the, you know, cancers are increasing, and we have to have those experts trained. So this is where we are heading as we are rolling those different programs, as we are bringing different people on board, as we are improving our infrastructure. That is where we are heading the next uh, few years. Thank you so much, Patrick. It was quite quite a very clear elaboration of what the future looks like and we certainly look forward to it. And now over to you, uh, Dr. Deogratius. Tell us where the future is for Fins. Okay. The future for Fins. What is the future plan for uh, Fins? And of course, as you do, what's the final message for anybody that's watching right now? Uh, for the final message, uh, this expansion we are discussing here uh, goes with permission. What is the permission here in Extra Mile? We are among the few universities in Uganda. Dot of time, expire of, 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 of the certificate, submission and application for the charter. And uh, we did that uh, last year through the process by the Regulator National Council for Education and we inspected uh, sometime in November. We expect our charter some few months ahead to be, uh, to be granted to us to operate like any other university and be recognized at a global, national and uh, regional and global level. That is partly what, uh, where we are heading and that one will come with the uh, expansion and growth vertically and uh, horizontally with many programs and vertically pursuing other uh, programs at another level of masters and PhD, but with uh, opening up with uh, other many programs mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that uh, uh, we catch up with the needs of the society. Now, uh, the message is that uh, while we are celebrating uh, uh, this uh, first graduation, we appeal to the public to come and apply for our programs. And these new ones, uh, we are yet to get something small uh, to move on with them so that uh, they come and apply. Our application, our application process is open. They can even apply online. Uh, there is a portal for online application so that students can, don't, you don't have to spend the time to move for portal. You don't have to spend time to get uh, feedback from the registry and so forth. So uh, I request the public and I inform the public that uh, applications are still uh, being received and we are preparing for uh, uh, August intake 2024 with a variety of uh, many new programs. I think by that time, we shall have uh, gotten a, uh, a go ahead or we shall have been given a clear way on how to proceed with these new programs. They are already inspected. Everything is done. We are simply waiting for something formal to be written to us so that we proceed. Certainly, certainly. Yeah. Very good news there. And uh, of course, the fourth celebration of the graduation ceremony for Finns Medical University. When is it? Well, on the 22nd of March, that is on Friday, Yes. all roads will be leading to Port Porto. Indeed. We are expecting over 2,000 uh, guests, and uh, our students come from across the hall to offer us lunch to all the guests. Interesting. Yes, all the 2,000 <laughs> guests will be offered lunch uh, wow. by, the, you know, by the office of the vice chancellor. But I would like to invite uh, all our graduates mm -hmm. uh, to come for the graduation. Let's celebrate together. I would like to invite uh, our leaders who many of them have confirmed and they for our guardians that please come to this medical university. It's your home. Come, we share with you all these milestones we are discussing about, the plans that we have. The students, those uh, senior six whose results have come, come and apply for all those programs which you have mentioned, applications are ongoing physically. Our numbers um, 
0787-81-3575. That number is also on WhatsApp. You can send a WhatsApp, and as the VCR said, you can be uh, admitted when you are seated at home. And that's what Phoenix Medical University is capable of doing. Mm -hmm. Visit our website, www.fmu.sc.ug, or you can send us an email or at info at fmu.sc.ug. All those you'll be able to communicate to us. I thank you very much. Certainly, certainly. And we are definitely looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Roheza Patrick, who is thank the you. secretary at Finns Medical University. And of course, special mm -hmm. thank you to you, Dr. Deogratius Mugisha, who is the vice chancellor for Finns Medical University. And thank you for joining us this morning. We do continue with the breakfast meeting. But remember that if you're looking for where to go and build your medical uh, professionalism, Finns Medical University is the place to go. Kitui Flo is my name. Good morning. We'll be right back.